Greetings, board subscribers waiting for a new video. Today I have the Heathkit 1G62 color bar and dot generator. This is a very interesting piece of TV history and actually video game history. And I'm going to explain the video game part in a little bit. It's very fascinating to me. <laughs> so this thing came out, I think it's 67, even though it says the model number is 62. And what it did, it adjust like the, I think it like adjust the horizontal and vertical lines on the TV those old sets so it could adjust them and it has some other cord with like an alligator clip on it I'm not sure what it did with it um that screws into like one of these video out RF out I have no idea how to use this there's a couple other channels that made videos on it more in depth but I just I have no idea I turned it on that green light came on it made a noise okay so what really interests me about this specific model and there are all kinds of these Heathkit models this is the Heathkit IG62 which was used by Ralph Bayer in nine, in the late 60s, actually almost the mid 60s to create the first attempts at a home video game system. But really, home, I mean, video games in general, I think like, but Space War may have been out by then or like Tennis for Two maybe, I'm not sure, but... <clears throat> So, according to this, the National Museum of American History, um, so in 1966, while working at Saunders Associates Incorporated, engineer Ralph Bayer began to look into new ways to use television, focusing specifically on interactive games. Wow, that is exciting. Interactive games in the 60s. Um, Bear had received his bachelor's in television engineering. That would be a really cool degree back then. And was familiar with television test equipment that could meet his needs while keeping costs down. This Heathkit IG62 color bar and dot generator which was used to address television sets, provided the key circuitry needed to create an image on a television screen. This allowed Bayer and his colleagues to devote their time and attention to develop a way for anyone to be able to move that image. In 67, Bayer created the first of several video game test units called TVG number one or TV game unit one that is awesome the device when used with an alignment generator like the heathkit ig62 produced a dot on the television screen that could be manually controlled by the user and i'm guessing i don't know if you would control it using this or the thing that he made the game system probably the game system but i don't know because this actually generates the dot Once they were able to interact with the television, Bayer and his team could design increasingly sophisticated interfaces and programs. That would be fascinating to be able to see like the games they created with that. Because like I wonder if he created Pod. I don't think so. I'm not sure. So this alligator clip must like go on to the old TV set. I love how this screws on here. So cool. So I guess these things are called a Heathkit because you actually got it all 
like in parts and you actually had to assemble it. Pretty neat. There's your TV video game history lesson for the day.